Now this popular fish and seafood restaurant is now back open and its owner told me that he is intent on getting this suspect captured, which is why he released these images that you see right here of a man about five feet, five inches in height who shot a customer from behind. It's got some residents here concerned that an improving neighborhood is getting less safe. All morning long into early afternoon, police were on the scene at Seafood King Fish Market Restaurant. The crime scene tape in the daylight and the early morning hours show that what happened here was serious. This block used to be quiet for a long time now, you know, surprising. Residents surprised to learn what police sources tell PIX11 News that just before 2 a.m., a man inside demanded money from the cashier and from a male customer. The suspect shot that 37-year-old customer in the cheek. He's in critical condition, but recovering at the hospital while investigators spent the day collecting evidence. Meanwhile, I've been living here for 55 years. Longtime residents like Gilbert Rivera have similar reactions to what happened here at 163rd and Broadway. I just didn't go from the better to the worse to the better. I think this is a return to the battle. Day. 30 years ago was very dangerous, but something changes for best. Now it's coming back. The NYPD's crime stats give some support to their observations. Even though rapes, robberies, and felony assaults are way down this year in this precinct, grand larceny, thefts worth more than $1,000, are up 20%, which is part of a 2% rise in all major crimes this year. But compared to 30 years ago here in Washington Heights, there's a 111% increase overall. Now that latest, that last statistic is for this year so far compared to 30 years ago. When you compare the full year last year to 30 years ago, the increase in overall crime is not as great, about 39.5%. Still, people here saying that the increases year to year have them concerned that the coming years may continue to go in the wrong direction. They say they certainly hope not.